I think we should get started because I know you all are busy women with things to do and calendars to keep and we're going to jump right in. So um, I just want to give a real quick review. So, so far, based on what we did last week, we had mm -hmm. learned two words, Melech and Malche. That's four different letters though um, one of the letters, the chaf, has two different forms, the middle of the word chaf and the chaf at the end of the word, the chaf sofit. Um, that's three consonants for those words, the M sound, the L sound, and the chaf, which I mentioned, which is that CH, KCH, so, which is again the mem for the M sound, the lamed for the L sound, and the chaf for that CH guttural sound. Um, we also learned the Yud, which is at the end of Malche, which really acts as a vowel. That's a little apostrophe-like little sign at the top. That's called a Yud. Um, and you've learned four other vowels, I'm pretty sure. The E sound, which is one dot, which is called a Chirik, but we don't need to know about that. We, anyway, they have names, obviously, but they don't come up. Then the two dots under the, the consonant, which is the A sound. That's actually called a tsere. The three dots, which is the segol, has the e eh sound. And then we also learned um, the a ah sound, which is either the one line or the t. So that's a patah or kametz. But again, it's the a ah sound. And then we learned that yud, that apostrophe little thing hanging up there. So that's what we've learned so far. Um, um, Rachel? Yes. Oh, Julia wasn't able to send me the book yet. So I oh, no. a little bit. Um, yeah. Oh, you are at a huge disadvantage. Correct. Correct. So oh, it, and it's, it's my fault because I got to her late, but um, yeah, I can see that. Okay. So many um, oh, my goodness. You know, I don't know how much you, you how it's well, going to be. What's so your hard. email? And I will just email it to you. I was wondering if that was the possibility. Why don't I just, here, I'm going to go back to my email. I'm going to forward this message to you. Okay. Wonderful. You want me to put and, it in the chat or you want me to just tell it to you? Yeah, uh, just tell it to me. Yeah, tell it to all of us because I don't have it either. Okay, Cindy G. Hang on. M-S-N, so that's C-I-N-D-Y-G. Hang on, forward, hang on. C-I-N-D-Y-G. M is in Mary, S is in Sam, N is uh -huh. in Nancy. Uh-huh. At Gmail. At gmail.com. Okay, great. All right. Thank you. Is there a book besides the handout? Is there something in addition to that? Or are you talking about are you talking about this or is it something yes. else? No, we're talking about the PDF version of the book that Julia sent everyone. Okay. Sh shalom Alechem, right? Right. Shalom Alechem. Okay, thank you. Right. Some, some were able to actually buy used copies of it, but for the most part, I think most of us are using the PDF version that Julie sent out. That's what I'm using. Okay. Okay. All right. So you get it, Cindy. Thank you. Um, you know, the other thing, hold on one second. I'm going to send you... Um, Rachel, could I also say that your the first session is already available through YouTube? Exactly. The first session is already available through YouTube. Oh, good. I'll go back and review that. Um, Cindy, now I have a Cindy Ginsburg at Intracontinental President. Is that not you? It is. It's my um Would you prefer president. not use that one? I'll use the one it, you just It doesn't gave. matter. I get both of them. Okay. Because what I'm going to send you also is um, I got it, uh, Paula. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, I'm going to send you the YouTube of the song uh, Shalom Aleichem. There you go. Okay, I'm sorry, everyone. I was so because um, where I wanted to start today is the, the whole point of the book um, is that it's based on the prayer Shalom Aleichem. And I know I had you all practice or at least listen to it. Um, and I think you all told me last week that you're familiar with the prayer. You had listened, you know the prayer, it's excellent. Okay, so 
What we have learned and what we're focusing on for our first several units are lines two, four, six, and eight of that prayer, which all are the same line. It repeats. So um, that line is me. And that's, those are the first words that we're learning. And if you look at page one, which, you know, of your book, I had you underline the target words that we learned, right? Melech, which is the first word of the second, fourth, fifth, and I'm sorry, fourth, sixth, and eighth lines, but it's it starts out me melech. It has a two mems there, one with the one dot, one with the three dots. We learned it as melech. That was our target word. But we added the the me on the beginning, which gets you me melech. That, that word should have two lines under it because we learned it. We successfully learned that target word. The next word was malche. And again, it should have two lines under it because that was the last word that we learned in our last class. So um, everyone feel comfortable with those two words? Mi melech malche? Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, so, let, me, let me ask you a question because yeah. there's one thing to read the word, but I feel like this whole concept is about sight reading, like you see it and you know it, and which is a different thing than sounding it out. You're right. And um, you're, you're the second class uh, participant to ask me this today. So this is on everyone's mind, I imagine. And I was, I was trying to explain this at the very end of last class that the way you, we're learning a phonetic reading to start because this is so new, the, the, you know, it's not the English letters, it's a whole new alphabet and the vowels are not within the alphabet the way you're used to. There are symbols underneath or within. And so we're starting out by sounding it out phonetically, but that's my point about practicing 20 minutes every day at a minimum. That's what's going to turn it into sight words. Because in Hebrew, the, the vast majority of the letters are the consonants. In fact, all the letters are the consonants. And the vowels are these symbols, dots or lines that sort of hang under those consonant letters. So most Israelis don't even need those vowels to be able to read. And as I mentioned at the beginning of last class, the Torah has none of those vowels. The Torah only has the letters, the consonants. And so um, sight reading is the key. But, and every time you, you'll see the mem lamed chef sofit, you're gonna see melech in your head. You're gonna see the, you're gonna see it and say that says melech and you'll be right. If there's something added on to it, like mi melech, there's gonna be another letter. But just those three letters together should spring into your head and say melech. Um, but without practice, that isn't gonna happen. And, it will take a lot of practice, you know, at the end of this 12 weeks for us, the words that have been our target words, hopefully you'll have practiced them enough that they'll become sight words for you. But can I, don't- Can I ask oh, a question on page yeah. nine, which is where I had to go last week and I wasn't sure if you finished that page. Yeah. The M at the end of the word. The mem so feet, yes. So the mem so feet, so that's always ma? Or, mm. yeah. So what would the last word be on that page, so row 10? On uh, the bottom of, I'm sorry, page 9 or 10? Page 9. Did you, yeah, we, okay, the, the, the word at the top of page 9 <laughs> with the arrow next to it, all right, is malachim. Malachim, the M okay. sound. And that's the same word at the very bottom, the last word on line 10, malachim. So that... Mem, it, the same sound starts the word and ends the word. Mulachim. You get the M again. Okay. Okay. I, that's where I had to go. So I, I missed that part. But thank you. Okay. So actually, hold on. We didn't get to that word now that I think about it. Page we didn't do that page. Right. We didn't do that page. Oh. I was just going to say, we, did, this, we did, did up to seven. So we didn't learn the mem. Right. So you jumped ahead. 
I'm sorry. I, I had a couple of notes. I think. Okay. Right. I, I apologize. So let, let's back up a okay. minute. That's but so I just I sort of I, I jumped ahead of. So let's start on page eight. All right. Um. You know what? Let's go. It, for those of you who have page one of the book and the transliteration. Mm -hmm. So if you look on line two of the of the transliteration at the bottom there with the notes and everything, the first word is mimelech, right? Mm -hmm. The second word, right? Go ahead, mimelech. Okay, let's stop right there. Okay, let's do that one more time. So let's, I'm terrible at singing, I acknowledge that, but it sounds like we're all gonna do it together as best we can. So it's me. Right. So let's let's say those words individually, all right? Okay. Um I'm gonna call on a few. Cheryl, can you say the first word? Um, I'm not sure where you are. Okay. Because I have the this. So yeah. So, so on the, that's where we are. Okay. So, so down here is the transliteration. I don't have the transliteration. Yes, you do. It's where the Lowly. where the music is. Right, where the music under is. The the, music. The, the, that English underneath the music is what we call transliteration. Yeah, but you're not doing shalom. You, are you starting? I'm with doing one? line two. I'm doing line, line two, two okay. not line one. Right. Okay. So you want me to read line two? Just I want you to read the first word. Me melech. Perfect, mimelech, and we all learned that word. If we go back, um, we started out with the the word within that word, melech, as our melech. very first target word, right? And then we just added, this adds the additional mem with the one dot under it for mimelech, okay? Mimelech. Mimelech. The second word in the transliteration on line two, Anita, do you see that word? Mm -hmm. Malachay. Malachay, exactly. Malachay. That was our second target word. And so if you look on the top of page, it's on page five in the book. I think it's also on page four in the book. No, it's on page five in the book. Malachay, right? We see Malachay. that word? Mm -hmm. How, what that word looks like in the Hebrew. Al alternatively, you can look higher up on this page, yes. the Hebrew words, and you'll see Malachay, okay? Okay, so the third word in transliteration on page two. Um, Edith, will you read it? Hamlachim. Hamlachim, exactly. So that's going to be our target word that we're going to start with right now. And where that appears in the Hebrew, in the box above on line two, that's the third word, Hamlachim. So we're going to put one line under that word. That's our target word for right this minute, okay? And so where we are in the book is what uh, we were talking about, which is page eight. So while what we just read started with a ha sound, we're, we haven't learned that letter yet. We're gonna start with, again, the word within that word, which is milachim. And it starts with the m mm sound, the mem again, which we know, right? So are we together on page eight? Yes. And we, and we see the two arrows pointing to the target word, malachim. Yep. Ma, la, ma, la, ma, malachim. So we've got the, so let's, let's break it down for a minute. We're going to look at, so this has five letters. We know four of them. We know the first letter, the mem, the, that we learned last week, the Lamed. Ma, one. Okay. Ma, so then the Chet, I'm sorry, the Chaf, excuse me, the, the backward C, the Chaf, right? We know those letters. And then the Yud hanging beside the Chaf. We learned that last week. But the very end there, that last letter, as I told you about five minutes ago, is the Mem Sofit. This is one of those couple of letters um, where it's a double. They have different shapes depending on where they appear in the word. And the mem, if it appears at the, anything but the end, is what it looks like at the beginning of this word. 
but when it appears at the end of the word, it has this other shape, okay? It's called the mem sofit, the final mem. And the other new piece we're learning here is the vowel E. So here you have the one dot under the letter. It can also look like with the yud following it. So the little apostrophe up above it has exactly the same sound. It's the double E sound, the long E. This vowel is called the chirik, but that's not really important for you to remember. The sound of the vowel is the key and it's the double E. So if we look, let's look below the box on page eight. And for now, we'll, we'll read across. And I'll read, so the first one is me. What, what, no, what line are you on? Line Just one. one. Okay. Line one. Page eight, line one, first word, me. 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 The next one sounds exactly the same, even though it has the, the yud hanging after the mem. Still sounds exactly the same, me. 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 And then we've got it done again. Let's skip to the lamid. It sounds like Lee. 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 And then the lamid with the yud and the one dot sounds exactly the same, Lee. 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 Okay, so all these, the first four, all right, they sound all the same. Me, 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 me. Me, me. Right? Me. Then you've got the Lee, Lee. And then they go back to what we saw at the beginning, the me. Okay. Line two. This is gonna this is gonna review our chaf sound, that guttural. So he 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 all me. four of those sound the same. Then they're going to throw in the, the mem me. for us. We got me, 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 me. she, me. me. Right, so that, that line's pretty straightforward. It sounds like everybody's good with that. If anyone's confused, tell me. I think I hear, I think I hear someone saying C. Oh, no, it's he. Uh, yeah. Right, exactly. Yeah, it could be that we're speaking over each other and it kind of garbles things. Mm -hmm. That's the challenge of Zoom, I must say. Um, so if you're comfortable with all of those, let's let's go down to line four. Mm -hmm. The third, the third word in line four. This is where it reviews for us that ah sound under the lamid. That little teeny T, right? So it's la chi, exactly, la chi, okay? A little bit of a review. La chi. La chi. Now with the line five, line five, if we skip to the third, fourth, fifth, six letters, or the third and fourth, okay? So now they're combining the mem sound and the lamid with the a. Ah. La, right? La. Wait, right. so what is it, is, is it Mela? Well, okay. it's no. Mula. There's not a vowel under the M sound, right? Mm. So how do you say the M? Is to say Ma? Mm -hmm. it's, it's more of a Mula. Ma, La. La. Right. La. 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 You, you La. combine La. the mem and the Lama together and then add the uh, sound La. from La. La. <laughs> That's currently how it's written, okay? That's kind of the notion of these consonants together, but when they don't have a vowel under the first one, it's gonna it's gonna slide into the second one. Right. Okay. So um, I think they're easier when you do them the other way. So if we look at line seven, for instance, uh, no, it's not a good example of what I was trying to um, so line seven, where you have the third word, but they both have vowels, right? Yeah. La chi, exactly. La chi, okay? So now, if we go to the end of line seven, the last two words. La chi. La chi. So I, I, la, I, I really do la chi. La chi. So when the syllable ends with the lamid, mla, 
and then you add the next syllable, chi. Okay? Malachi. But our target word is malachim. So we're, we're getting to that. Let's look at the first word on line nine. You recognize that target word? We've already learned that word? Malach. 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 Great, exactly. And then the second word? Malachi. 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 Okay. Okay. You got the two dots under it is the A sound and the Yud hanging down. So that's the A sound, Malachi. Okay. okay. And then the, the first word on line 10 is the very first word of the refrain of the song. Exactly, mimelech, okay? The second word in line 10, malche. Okay, so let's, I'm going to go through each of you. I want you to read for me the first two words of line 10. Paula, will you read those first two words? Mimelech malche. Perfect. Rita, read them. Mimelech malche. Perfect. Anita? Mimelech malche. Yes. Cindy, I'll skip you unless you want me to ask you. It's up to you. Skip. Okay. Edith, will you read the first two words in line 10? Mimelech malche. Good. Doreen? Mimelech malche. Perfect. Rhoda? Mimelech malche. Yep. Elisa? Mi melech malche. Exactly. Linda? Mi melech malche. Beautiful. And Cheryl? Mi melech malche. Okay, perfect. Excellent. So now we're going to go to, so you, you see what we were talking about. If you go to the box on the top of page nine, that's the mem sofit the one um, sort of in the middle of the box, the final mem, right? Which is the end of the word that we're learning, malachim. So the first line on page nine is just mem in its two different mem iterations, right? The mem that's in the word and the mem that's at the end of the word, okay? So you just need to get used to what it looks like. So let's look at the first word of line two, Meme. 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 Right? I, I think you can remember them. Um, the one that's at the beginning of the word is open, and then the one at the end of the word is closed. Okay. If you look at the two, because I'll right. mix them up unless I have a way to remember. <laughs> okay. All right. That's correct. Um, let's continue reading in line two. The first word was meme. The meme. second word meme. is leem. Meme. Right. And line three is Okay, so let's take the last two words or word combination letter combinations in line three. Mame and mem. Mem. Okay. Mem. The two dots mem. And the three dots. Everyone good with that? Okay. Um, now line four goes, the, the uh, solidification of, even though you're adding that yud between the two mems, it still sounds the same, mame. 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 Right, and then the second word would be lame. 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 And the third is chim. Chim. Which is the same as the one word, the letters following it without the yud, chim. Chim. Okay, and then it just goes again with the yud, chim. Is everyone comfortable with me calling that little apostrophe the yud? That's the name of the letter? Okay, mm -hmm. good. Okay. Line six, we're getting very close to our target word at the top of the page, malachim. So the first word in line six is lachim. Lachim, exactly. Lachim. 
And then they break it down for us. They give the lamed. La. 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 Then the middle syllable. Mm -hmm. And then they put the mem with the lamed. Mala. Mala. And then, and then the very last word on line six before that exclamation point. Malachim. Malachim. Okay. Good. Excellent. Um, let's do some reading. So uh, line seven, I'm going to just, is it okay? I'll call on some people. Yep. Okay. Doreen, you want to read line seven? Malahim. 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 Perfect. Okay. Line eight is a little trickier because it combines the words we've learned already. So Anita, you feel comfortable reading line eight or part no, of it? I will. I'll help Malahe. you. Hey. Yep. Malachim. So Malche, you did. So Malachim. Malachim. Right? Okay, the third word. Malach. Malach. Melech. Okay. That's our, that was our first target word, Melech. Third. Malche. Good. Malche. Mal. Malachim. Malachim. Okay, so I'm going to repeat line eight. Malche. Malachim. Malachi. All right, let me just for now, I'm going to read it across. Everyone just follow, all right? Then we'll break it down one more time. Malche. Malachim. Melech. Malche. Malachim. Okay. Rita, would you like to read line eight? Um, the line eight on page nine. Oh, I'm, I'm reading nine. Okay, line eight. Okay, line eight. Malachim. Mm -mm. The no. first word is line eight. Malche. Malche. Malachim. Yes. Melech. Yes. Malachim. Malche. Malachim. Malachim. Okay. It's a little tricky when they're not putting any vowels under that first mem for malachim. But I think they're just trying to get you used to the consonant sounds together. Mm -hmm. OK. Um, Linda, will you read line nine? Me. Me. Ma me. 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 OK. Malhay. Yes. Malhim. Milachim. The last word, line nine. Milachim. Milachim. Okay. okay. Why isn't it malachim? Mal. Why isn't it M and the L make mal? Well. Because that's putting the. The, the, the vowel yeah. under the mem, not the lamed. Okay. Okay. So this uh -huh. will be pronounced if you just look, your mouth has to follow the words mula. 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 Okay. Okay. Now, that's not necessarily a word the way it's written there because it, it, it might actually be that it needs to have another vowel that they're not showing us yet. Okay. They're just getting us used to these consonant sounds rolling off our tongue in the right order, okay? okay? So let's look at line 10. The first word, mimelech. <laughs> the second word is mimelech. Malchim. 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 Okay? Malchim. Malachim. 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 Okay, so Paula, are you comfortable reading line 10? Um, well, I'll, let's see if I'm comfortable or not. Uh, me melech, mm -hmm. me melech, malche, oh. malachim. Perfect. That's exactly right. Really good. Okay, so let's turn the page. Unless anyone has any questions, I want to go to page 10. So I was just saying to you that, you know, this malachim 
may or may not be the word or a word. So at the top of page 10 is the target word hamlachim, okay, which is what appears in the prayer. Hamlachim. So here we need to learn a new letter. And that letter is the hey, which sounds just like an H. And they show it to us in the box. Okay. Hey is a silent letter. Has, has really no use completely on its own. Um, it, again, will serve as the sort of hat rack for the vowel that's going to be under it, hanging on to it. Okay. So, so it's in, not. It's no, it has no sound except for the vowel underneath it. Yeah, that's right. For the most part. I, well, that's not quite true. It, I mean, it gives you that that H, that very soft H. But at the end of a word, it would have absolutely no sound at all, like a silent E in English. But that's a. It's not. I shouldn't make that comparison. But that's the function it serves quite frequently in Hebrew. Um, but let's look at. Line one, you know, we'll, we'll practice these lines here. One, two, and three are really excellent examples of what the, the hay does. So hay with one dot under it is he. E, e, e. Okay, this, the second word, the hay, the e, yud, e. and again, the one dot is still he. Exactly e, the same. E. E. The hay with two dots is hay. Hey. Two dots in the yud is still hay. Hey. Hey. Now we have the three dots, which is the S sound, so it's he. He. Now you okay. never have a yud following those three dots, which is why this example doesn't show, you know, the, the last he and three dots on the line doesn't have a yud, because you'll never have a yud hanging after three dots. Never done. But so this line becomes he he, hey hey, he he, right? Okay, now line two, they combine them. He 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 slow down. Let's you know what I'm gonna. It's hard for us to hear each other when we're reading after each other. So let me um let me continue to call on some people. Doreen, line two. He he. Yep. Ha, he. Exactly. He, he. Right. He, he. Yes. He, he. Yep. Ha, ha. Perfect. Okay, line three is reminding us of the ah sound, the kamats here, whether it looks like the T or just the one line, right? They're all ha. So, Anita, line three, can you do that? Uh -huh. one? Ha, 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 Perfect. That's it. That's all that was. <laughs> so now um, line four, they're going to remind us that we've got, you know, you can have the hay and the lamed, ha, la, ha, la, right? You can have the hay and the chaf, ha, ha, right? The hay and the mem. Ha ma. ha ma. Now here's the tricky one. The fourth word on line four is still a hey and the mem so feet. So that's hum. Right? Line four, word four is hum. Um. Okay. The next one, ha may. That's the other mem. And the last one, meh. Uh, meh, exactly, the other mem again. Even though in this case, they're confusing you because they're showing that mem okay. as a letter. Mean, it's not a word, right? It's kind of unfair of them, if you ask me, that they're, they're, they're trying to confuse you, though, okay? So they those are, they're not words. Those are letter combinations with sounds, okay? That's all they are. They're not words. Does the mem so feet ever have a vowel under it, or is it just a plain M always at the end? Or is that a maybe? And I shouldn't ask the question. <laughs> I was going to say, um, I don't think it does have a vowel. For the, predominantly, it is by it's it stands alone without a vowel for the most part. There might be some exceptions. I am not a Hebrew teacher, honestly. But let's say for the time being, you're going to encounter it without a vowel. Okay. So, um, 
In this case, this hey with the ah is going to be the opening uh, sound for the target word of hamlachim, right? The word at the top of the page, hamlachim. Okay, so on line seven, they start getting us to that word. So in other words, the words before, most of them aren't words, they're letter combinations. Although we do see in line five, hamelech, right? Everyone, can you find hamelech in line yes. five? Yes. What number word is that? Sir, sir. Exactly. Perfect. Perfect. So, you know, we're trying to pick out here, at least I'm trying to pick out the words versus the letter combinations, okay? So let's do line seven. I'm going to read it first just for you to listen, okay? Hamlachi, Hamlachi, Hamlachim, Hamlachim. Okay? So they they give you part of the word for the first two combinations, and then they give you the actual word for the second two combinations in line seven. Um, Edith, do you want to read line seven? Hamlaki, Hamlaki, Hamlakim, Hamlakim. Okay. Can you soften your K sound to more of a KH or CHK, you know, some K little, little softer? I, uh, uh, that, I'm yeah. I hear it. I hear it. I can hear it, but I, I'm still struggling with that. Okay. How do you say the word? How do you say the word chutzpah? If you say somebody has chutzpah, how do you say that? Chutzpah. Chutzpah. Yeah. Um, chutzpah. Or Hanukkah. Or Hanukkah. <laughs> Those are good it's one examples. of those Jewish words. <laughs> those, no, those are really good examples. Um, uh, Tuchus. <laughs> I'm trying to think of like when you say it in a funny way, like you're trying to be an old Jewish community, comedian, right? You, you could say tukas or you could say tukas. Like. <laughs> okay. Well, I know you're working on it. It's good that you hear it. So just keep working hear it. On it. Okay. So that was our target word, hamlachim. So let's go back to what is page one and, you know, the box and the music. And the second line. Um, I really don't want to look at transliteration. I want to look at the Hebrew in the box, the second line. We now know the first three words in that line. Mi melech malche hamlachim. You all see that? Okay. So, Where, I'm sorry, go ahead. Where are you? What, what, what line? Line two. Oh, line two. Okay. Okay. In the box at the top. Mimelech Malche Hamlachim. Those three words, we've learned how to read them. Each of them should now have double lines under them. Okay. They are the same words that appear, line four, line six, and line eight, the same first three words, all of them. Mimelech Malche Hamlachim. Okay. And the way that you sing it, you know, me, those are our words right there. Okay. Okay. So page 11, my suggestion is that you mark this page, you put a tab, you put a post-it, you know, you put one of these little flag post-its, you turn the corner, whatever you want to do. It's a really good review page. Okay. Technically, you should be able to read all of the combinations in lines 1 through 12 because we've learned all of them already, okay? So right now, we're going to turn the page. We're not going to read them. We're going to go to page 12, and the target word on the top of page 12 <laughs> is shalom. So um, this is the first word of the prayer, Shalom Aleichem. So if we go back again to page one and the box, line one, the very first word is Shalom. We're going to underline that with one line. Okay. So the thing about 
this word? Is it teaching us, obviously, a new letter, the shin? And what's tricky about this shin is you see the letter and you see a dot in the upper right corner, right? That dot is the key to this letter. This, the lower part of the letter is, um, is the primary, well, I shouldn't even say it that way. So this dot can either be on the upper right corner or it can be in the upper left corner. It completely changes the sound of the letter from an SH to just an S, from a shin to a sin. Our case, we're learning the shin first and the little rule in your head to remember is the phrase, she is always right. So when the dot is in the right, you got she, and she is always right. So I didn't learn that when I was learning these letters. I recently heard that, I don't even remember where, but it's a really good mechanism to remember this shin and the SH sound, okay? So um, let's, let's climb on into the lines below. Um, the first line is going to do what we always do, which is combine our vowel with this consonant SH and try and remember or, you know, give us the yud when it happens and then the ah sounds. So we have she, 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 sha, sha. All right. Rhoda, you want to... Um, are you comfortable Remember? reading line two or you want to just read line one again? No, no, I'll try. Try shame. Line. Yeah. Shame. Shame. Perfect. Shame. Perfect. Uh, shame. Exactly. Uh, and then shame. Right. Shum and shum. You got it. That's perfect all the way through. Let's try line three. Um, Elisa, would you like to do line three? I'll try. Um, Sheel, mm -hmm. sheel, yep. Shale, shale, yep. Shale, yes. Shall, mm -mm. shall. No, no, slow down. Shall. The th no, no. It's the Did third I miss one. The th so yeah, okay. So one, two, three, four, five. The sixth one. One, two, three. Shall is a. Ah. Shall. Oh, I said. Sh oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Shall. Say what, the yeah, same as the, the T. Yes, yeah, shall, exactly, shall and shall, shall. okay? They're Got all ah, uh, those last three, gotcha? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, line four, Linda? Shall. Yeah. Shall we? Shall we? Shall we? Very good. Shall we? Shall Shall we? Shall we? Shall we? Shall we? Shall we? Shall mm -hmm. Good. Shall I? Shall I? Very good. And I love that you corrected yourself. You're getting it. You really are. Okay. I have, to, I have trouble in the printout yeah. seeing the difference between the dots and the line. Uh, yeah, sometimes. Uh, yeah. You know, it's hmm. true. That's that's a challenge. I don't know what to tell you other than, yeah. yeah. I try with my glasses. Without my glasses, nothing works. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, um, it'll it's a little more challenging when we do these exercises when they're not real words. When they're going to be real words, I think it'll become more obvious. Okay? okay. You'll. It's kind of like what they say about people who have dyslexia. If you hear it, you you correct yourself. And I think that will become apparent for us as we get further down into more words, okay? Um, let's, let's skip down to line eight. Am I asking too much by skipping down to line eight? Everybody okay? Good. Cheryl, you, can you do line eight? Uh-huh, I could try. Good. Shalim, oh no, Shalim. Right. Shalem. Yes. Shalom. 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 Shalem. Shalem. Very good. Shalem. Right. Excellent. Okay. Line nine has some familiar words. Uh, Rita? 
Yeah, okay. Um, Melach? Yes. Um, Lame? Yes. Okay. Um, Malachi? Yes. Shal Shalem? Yes. <laughs> uh, sh Sham? Shame. Shame, okay. Somehow I don't want to say shame. I don't know why. Um, Shalach, Shalim. Shalim, right. Shalim, Shalim. okay. Um, I don't want to put anybody on the spot, but uh, Doreen, are you comfortable with 10? I'll give it a shot. Um, Shalim. Yeah. Shalim. Yeah. Shalim. Yes. Lehem. Very good. Shalem. Lehem. Very good. Very, very good. Okay. Um, line 11 is really not tricky either. Um, Paula, will you read line 11? Lehem. Perfect. Lehem. Mm -hmm. Shame. Good. Sham. Yes. Shalem. Lehem. Perfect. You did it. You guys are getting this. Okay. Line 12. Let's see. We just read a bunch of those words. Let's skip to the third word in line 12. Edith, do you see the third word in line 12? Yes. Me milk. Yes, exactly. Can you read the next? Oh, okay. 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 Yes. Okay. And this is our word that we just finished learning. The last word. Oh. Hamalach. Yes. Hamalach. Now, now here they're pointing out something a little different. Let's focus on this word with the asterisk next to it for a minute. The mem, the second letter there, mm -hmm. has two dots under it. Yeah. Those two dots are called the Shiva. And the Shiva is actually, while it hangs where a vowel hangs, it's not a vowel. It means vowelless. It means this letter is vowelless. Now it's there are about six different rules that come along with this Shiva. Those come about in unit five or beyond, okay, for us. In this case, though, instead of this being Hamlachim, it's Hamalachim, Hamlachim. There's this very short uh, okay. that comes under that mem with that Shiva. Okay. Uh, and as I say, there's a lot of rules that go along with this. But if you think about how the song, how the word comes about when we sing it in the prayer, me malach malachi hamalachi hamalachi. You see, there's that going on there. That's what the shiva does. It takes it from what we've been reading, where it's just two sounds smushed together, the mem and the lamed with the amla. It's mula. It has this little mula. Okay, and it's beyond us right now to get into all of the whys of that. It's just. Again, you're going to see it and you're going to hear in your head the song Hamalachim. Okay? There's, there's, That's the, there's, the last, there's two dots in yes. the, before it. In the, no, the before it under the Lamed. Okay, hold on. The first letter in the, okay, we're looking at the last word on line 12 on page 12, yes? Yeah, but the word okay. before it. Oh, yes, the word before it. Has has an ah sound that has a um, a patach under it that uh, that line so that's malche malche okay um, th there are different rules again I can't I don't want to try and confuse okay. you what the okay. two dots at the end of the syllable mean I saw it and I said oh yes for now don't worry about it okay 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 don't worry about it but circle let's circle that word with the asterisk, hamalachim, okay? That's the word that is in the prayer that we technically already learned. 
But the target word that we've been focused on here, even though they kind of threw in two different lessons, is shalom, right? So now we're going to keep working on shalom on the top of page 13. And we learned the shin at the beginning, but now following the lamed is another vowel. This is the only vowel that doesn't hang. Well, I shouldn't say that. It's not the only one. Um, instead of being underneath the letter, this letter is a vowel and it stands between two letters, okay? So it's, it's a cholem vav. So the letter next to the lamed and before the mem sufit, that line that has a little piece to the left, that's called a vav. But when it has a dot over it, it becomes a vowel that sounds like O. And um, I don't know what else to tell you other than you just have to recognize it as this O. It's it's a shalom. Yeah, shalom. This word should be really easy for you to recognize. We, I'm, I imagine we all know it's a very very common word. It can be hello. It can be goodbye. It can be peace. Right. It comes up in prayers throughout every service. Almost as frequent as Melech, you're going to find Shalom. It always has the... Um... So no. So that, okay. So I wanted to focus on here in the word Shalom, it has the Vav with the dot over it. But as you see in the box to the left, you see just the dot hanging up there at the top. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sometimes this, that is the same vowel, that one dot but up at the top of the letter or between, it'll be, it will, you'll see it between two letters, between two consonants without the Vav. It still sounds like an O. That's all it is, it's just an O, okay? Sorry, I lost my connection. I seem to finally get back in. Okay, good. What, what does the oh, Vav goodness. sound, oh, sorry. Right, what sorry. does the Vav sound like without the little dot? So when it's a, then it becomes a consonant, it's no longer a vowel. It's a, oh, really? Yes. And it has a V, a, it's just like it's called Vav, it's going to be a V. But oh then, it's, as I say, it's not, in our case, we're learning it here as a vowel. All right. And it's on the left side of the leather, the dot. Yeah, well, so when you when the dot comes by itself, yes, it's on the left side, but it you won't it won't really appear that way. It's going to appear between two letters. Okay, but because it's between two letters, the letter it connects to is the letter on the the first letter right before the dot. All right, so we'll read we'll read and we'll we'll start getting a hang of it. We're going to read down instead of across for a minute. You see line one, that's mm -hmm. Mo, oh. but right below it, line two is also Mo. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. You see Mo. Okay. okay. So let's uh, let's skip line three and all those H sounds for the time being. Let's go to line four. Oh. And that's Lom. Okay. Let's go. Let's see. Um, mm -hmm. Let's read across line. Oh, golly. Let's, all right, we're going to read across line one and line two the way they show us. Okay. So the first is Mo. Mo. The oh. second is Ho. Oh. Right? The oh. third is Show. Oh. So this third one is tricky. Yes. You have the Shin with the, the dot on the right telling you it has the SH sound, but then you have the dot on the left telling you the O vowel, show. See. Okay. Mm -hmm. you, it's unlikely you're gonna see these combinations in words this way. That's kind of the unfortunate part. Like this next combination, ho, the hey and the O, yeah, that's un very uncommon, okay? But he wants you to learn how to pronounce it. So here we got ho. Oh. And the last one is low. Oh. Okay. And the ones under it are exactly the same pronunciations. They're just showing you that in other cases, it's written with the, the vav with the dot. But again, this is it's kind of unfair because grammatically, you won't see it this way. These are just combinations. They're not mm -hmm. going to be in words that way. So let's 
Let's skip to line five. Line five starts out sha. Oh, shall. Shall. And shall. Okay, then sha. Boom. Then they'll put it together. Okay. And so I want us to practice reading across line five. Um, Doreen, will you read it first? Sha, shall, shallow, sha, loam, sha, loam, shalom. Perfect. Shalom, exactly. That was perfect. Um, Cheryl, will you read line six? Shal uh, shalom. Yeah. Shalom. 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 Exactly. There you go. <laughs> That's all it is. Um, let's see. Let's, so line seven, they're combining all, some more of the words we know. Uh, Elisa, you want to read line seven? Uh, shalom Melech. Beautiful. Shal Melech. Wait, so, that, so the first combination, Shalom Melech, what's the second combination? Shalom Melechim. So let's, let's slow down. What am I doing the, wrong? The, the mem with the two mm -hmm. dots for Shiva under it is that M, okay? Oh, Melechim. 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 You see the Melechim. I see the T, yeah. It's a little yes. hard to see. Melechim. Got it. Okay. Shalom. Uh, melech. Very good. All right. We're going to, let's have someone else do that same line. Anita, will you read line seven? Shalom. Mala, melech. Um, shalom. Malachim. This is shalom. Mula. Okay. Let's slow down. The, the second combination, shalom. Mulachim. Okay. I want you all to circle that mem with the two dots under it, the mem with the shava. And that's this uh, m. Okay. It has this short uh sound and it connects to the mem sound. So it's m. Okay. Mulachim. 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 So Hebrew, most often I think. This, the emphasis is going to be toward the front of the word, not the back of the word, okay? So, melachim, as opposed to melachim, it's melachim, okay? Melachim. And since the first is the very short vowel, that puts the emphasis on the lamed and the ah, so melachim, okay? Melachim. Good. Okay, and then the next combination? Shalom, ma malach. Melech. Melech. Melech, okay? Okay, so I see we have one minute to one o'clock. Let's let's talk for a minute about. Um, I don't think we're going to start beyond this because I don't think everyone's comfortable enough, and I don't want to start these silent letters that come next when we have enough on our plate. Okay. Um, does anyone have questions? Okay, so I, what I really would urge you to do is when you're practicing, I would like you to start with singing the prayer because that's going to make your head and your mouth get the words, how they sound, how they feel, right? And you all have the link if you want to listen to her sing it, but so we now have shalom, the very first word of the first line, and we have the first, the, the three words of the second line. So my personal suggestion to you would be start by singing the first two lines, shalom, okay, through the end of the second, me, okay, sing that a few times, then go into your exercises. If you want to start, on page two and go through, you can, or you can jump to 
that page I told you to note, which is the review page right before unit two starts. I think that was page 11. 11, yeah, okay. But every day, my suggestion to you, sing the first two lines, go through and read the words we know, okay? Um, and do, you know, go through and read Certainly, you know what, I'll send you an email of the lines I urge you to practice the most. In other words, what I was saying about some of these are just sound combinations, others actually have our words. So I'm gonna send an email to all of you with my suggestion of the important lines to practice, okay? Okay. Um, and we will start, um, where we left off next time. We'll do a quick review, but you know, we're gonna have to pick up at page 14 with some new silent letters. Did you put your links to your YouTubes and your message also? I will put the link in again, sure, absolutely. Okay, everybody feel good about what I'm asking you to do? Please call me, email me, whatever you're most comfortable with. If you are struggling, you want help, just reach out, okay? And starting Monday, um, you know, I'll send an email with the telling you for sure that the video has been posted. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Shabbat Thank shalom you. to everyone. Thank you. Shalom. 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 All right. Take care. Thank you, Rachel. You're so welcome.